The basic pattern is that countries with higher incomes, out this way, tend to have uh, healthier populations, as indicated by lower rates of, of child, uh, child mortality. A healthier workforce tends to be a more productive workforce, very intuitive, I would say. It's a workforce with more energy, better mental health, less absenteeism. A second channel through which population health can affect income is education. Now, we all know that healthy kids have better records of school attendance. That's well established. It's also well established that healthy kids tend to stay in school longer. Uh, and we know that healthy kids have better cognitive development. So not only do they have better records of attendance each year, go to school for more years, but they also get more out of every day and every year that they spend in school. So the point here is that educational investments in healthy kids can be expected to yield especially handsome returns which will naturally lead to an expansion of those investments. And that's important because education is virtually undisputed among economists as being one of the most powerful instruments of economic growth and poverty alleviation.